Now we're going to do the breast examination. So we have to do inspection, palpation and lymph node examination. When you do inspection, we make sure patient is sitting on the couch. For palpation, patient has to lie down on the couch at 45 degree. And for lymph node examination, patient will be standing. Let's do it. Jennifer, now I'm going to examine your breast. For the purpose of examination, I can see you adequately exposed. Thank you for that. I have a chaperone to ensure your privacy. May I proceed? Sure. Do you have got pain anywhere? No. I'll be gentle and quick. At any point of time, you feel uncomfortable. You want me to stop. Let me know. I will stop my examination. Okay. So now yeah. we're going to do the inspection. It has got five steps. So Jennifer, could you please sit upright and put both the hands on your thighs for me? Both the breasts are symmetrical, nipples at the same level, no bleeding discharge coming from the nipples, no visible mass, no sign of any injury or any trauma and no scar mark of any previous surgery. Jennifer, now could you please put both the hands on your side and bend forward for me. There is no visible mass on bending forward. You can relax now. Could you please put both the hands at the back of your head? There is no axillary and supraclavicular fullness. You can relax now. Could you please lift both the breasts with two fingers? There is no fungal infection and no sign of any scar mark for any surgery. Could you please squeeze both the nipples with two fingers? There is no bleeding or discharge coming out from the nipples. You can relax now. So now I'm going to do the palpation. First thing we're going to do is the temperature. So if you have got four quadrants in the breast. So make sure we compare the temperature over all the four quadrants. There is no local rise of temperature. Then we are going to do the superficial palpation. So we start from here at 7 o'clock position and make sure we are looking at the patient's face for any tenderness. While doing the palpation, you are going anti-clockwise. You are making sure you are not touching the nipples. You are not touching the areola. Repeat the same thing on the other breast as well. Again, we started at 7 o'clock position. We are looking at the patient's face for any tenderness. And while doing the palpation, we are very sure we are not touching the nipples and areola. So there is no tenderness on superficial palpation. Jennifer, now can you put both the hands at the back of your head? This time we are doing it uh, for finding a mass. So we will do the same thing again. But this time as it is deep palpation, so you have to go a bit deeper. Wherever you will get the mass, make sure you stop there and you will comment over the mass in detail. So I found a mass here that is your upper inner quadrant of the right breast. So it is a small mass. It is around 22 centimeter. It is regular. It's firm in consistency. It's attached to underlying structure, not to the overlying skin. And as I'm looking at the patient's face, so it's not painful and it's not mobile. We'll go further. And then we'll repeat the same thing again on the other breast. And if you find a mass, what you do, you just stop there and you will comment over the mass in detail. So that is your deep palpation. Now, what we have to do, we have to do the periareolar palpation as well. We are not touching the nipples, we are not touching the areola. So, we are going to go periareolar. This is also deep palpation and we are trying to find a mass. So, sometime if you have missed the mass during deep palpation, you will definitely be able to find when you do periareolar. So, I can feel a mass here in the periareolar region. So, I can feel a mass in the lower outer quadrant of the right breast. It is very small, 1 into 1 centimeter, attached to the underlying structure, not to the overlying skin. It is regular, firm in consistency and not painful as I am looking at the patient's face and not mobile. Keep going, anti-clockwise and make sure while doing the palpation, you are not lifting your hand too much because 
you might be missing some important findings, you might be missing a mass. Repeat the same thing on the other side as well. So, periareolar palpation, what we are looking for? Again, we are looking for a mass. Thank you, Jennifer. So, now we are going to do the lymph node examination. We have got uh, five different lymph nodes. Uh, Jennifer, could you please put your left arm on my shoulder? I will do the same. So, we have to check for anterior uh, axillary lymph nodes. That is here. Then medial. Medial is going to be on the chest wall. And then we have to feel for apical. Apical is in. So, these are the three that you can check from the front. Let us do it. Same thing on the other side as well. So, we can check for anterior, medial and apical. Now, Jennifer, for the purpose of examination, I will be going to your back. So, is it possible if you can uh, just cross your arm like this and I will be going to your back. From the back, uh, we are looking for posterior, posterior axillary lymph nodes. That is in the posterior axillary fold and lateral. That is here on the arm. Same thing here on the other side. So, posterior and lateral. You can relax, Jennifer. Could you, Jennifer, now could you please shrug your shoulder? In this position, we are actually checking for supraclavicular lymph nodes. You can relax now. Thank you. For more content on PLAP2 and UKMLA, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. If you need videos on any other topic, please let us know in the comment section. See you. Done.